You know, he's won two MVP awards. He's finished second in the voting four times. I mean, so he's always right there. His greatness, was, what does it remind you of? Who does he remind you of? If I had to pick a player, I, I would say Barry Bonds. Absolutely. Wow. And, and Barry, and, and I would still even say that Barry is up here. Okay. And then so there's Mike Trout. For right? now. Right. For now. Okay. And, and I even, look at Barry Bonds, you, you go back and you look at the numbers. I mean, that's a career a thou, over 1,000 OPS. I mean, he'd have seasons where he'd walk 200 and some odd times and strike out 40 times. He'd hit more home runs yeah. than strikeouts. That, right. That's Joe DiMaggio-esque. And, <laughs> and the thing about, too, Trout, Trout's still, like, if you're trying to pick holes, 170 strikeouts or 140 strikeouts. He doesn't run as much as Barry. Now, is Mike Trout, you know, it, look, at he's the greatest player of our enough, generation. Right. And he's young enough. But you, you still, uh, like Barry Bonds, again, those Standing numbers out. and what he did. Absolutely. You, I, I never saw Ted yeah. Williams, but, but this I is don't a, know that there was a greater hitter ever than Barry Yeah, Bonds. you both were wild. You jumped right, right out, and you pitched against him. I, I tell you what, he was a man amongst boys. There was nothing he mm -hmm. couldn't do. You had the game plan to stop him, and you still couldn't stop him. The league couldn't stop him. And he understood. He picked his spots when he can affect the ball game. He was a defensive monster as well. But if you made one mistake over the heart of the plate, he was going to hit that ball in the stands. And that's why I see Mike Trout. Mike Trout, you make a mistake to him in the heart, he's going to hit that ball in the stands. But, but the, the one difference, nobody pitched to Barry. Yeah, and right. he still put up right. numbers. Still put they up didn't right. pitch to him. Yeah. And then when he did get his pitch, that ball was in the, the water. Yeah, he had a great eye at the plate, too. Yeah. And uh, by the way, his uh, 55th birthday today. So happy birthday. Happy birthday, yep. Barry. Mr. Bonds. And I'm sure Trout loves to be uh, spoken of in that company. What do you take most from this clash of division leaders in late July? Well, I, I still, the Yankees are the much better ball club. I mean, I, I don't care what happens in this series. They're a deeper team. And, and just the other night, you know, the Twins had an opportunity. I mean, they were way out in front. Then they had an opportunity two or three different times to put the Yankees away, and they weren't able to do it. And, you know, the depth of this lineup, the, the, the fact that, you know, the, the Twins right now, while they're, they're playing them well, we don't even know if the Twins are going to be in the playoffs. I mean, right. they're, they're fighting for their life right now. Right, only a three-game lead. With the Cleveland lead. Indians, right? And, and so this Yankee ball club, though, they can beat you in so many different ways. And offensively, they just continue to wear you out. And... Again, tonight, you see what they're doing. I, I don't think you've ever seen in the Yankee history, and they've had some mega lineups. This don't say Yankee be, history. Uh, uh, well, don't say Yankee <laughs> history. This might be the best. <laughs> this might be the best. I mean, one through eight. This might be well, the deepest You don't lineup. remember that year of uh, Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig? Wait, no, this is deeper. <laughs> no, with this, this is deeper. No, with this baseball in this era, I right. mean, I, it's a different, not the, not the players, I, I would think. You but, ever been on the mound? So, you been on the mound? So, this is a deep lineup. You haven't this pitched is a against tough, this lineup. This is a tough lineup to pitch to. I can't figure out one guy in this lineup that I feel like I can take a deep breath and work around. Every guy in this lineup you make a mistake to, they can hit the ball out of the ballpark. And the one thing about this lineup, they're not swinging and missing. They're not chasing But the Twins pitches. do the same thing. Well, yeah, yeah. Right. But it, this is different. This but, so, different. but this is what I'll say, though. I, I agree they're a deep lineup. But they'll, they'll pulverize mediocre to average pitching. Right. But you put a horse on the mound, I, th there's a lot of swings like a Bueller, and misses. Like we talked about. Yeah, like, we were talking about mm -hmm. a Bueller, but even a Cole or a right. Verlander. I think, you know, th this... It can still be navigated because there are a ton of swings right, well, you're, and misses. They've been swung and missing two weeks. All right, so you're not taking, <laughs> the, you're not taking this lineup over the Dodger lineup. See, you guys are some homers, though, so don't try to no, set me up. No. <laughs> I just wanted somebody to I, balance I, this out. So I like them a little bit better. So okay, I like I a little bit better. The Dodger lineup controls home play and is much more disciplined than the Yankees. And against a good pitcher, I think the, the Dodgers give a, a ball club more trouble. But we Mediocre may... pitching, they'll... they'll They'll absolutely, the Yankees will absolutely destroy We may it. see the Yankees and Dodgers of the World right? Series decide this, right? which uh, which is the way you shake it. <laughs> right, the Yankees, the, so the Yankees are who we thought they were, and the Twins are not on their level. They're not. They're a notch the, below. The Twins can't pitch there, yeah. and that's right. a big problem. Yeah. Okay. That, that's the bottom line. They right. can't navigate through their lineup. The rotation can't navigate. The bullpen can't. So that's very concerning. They're definitely a couple notches below well, the and, Yankees. And I'll say this. The, the Yankees, we were looking this up. You know, 101 games, only nine times, nine times in 101 games have starting pitchers gone seven innings. I that's mean, that's amazing. crazy. That just tells you, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. the lineup yep. just continues to wear you out. Yeah, and the starting pitching for the uh, Twins in this series, uh, look what, what they've, and the home run ball that we've talked about. Look the at the ERA's. pitch count. That's Nine the crazy run. thing. Five <laughs> innings, 101. Four innings, 102 pitches. And, and then yeah. you, the bullpen? Oh, yeah. my goodness. Every t every pitcher you saw out there from Minnesota, they were sweating like yeah. they were working out right? there. And they couldn't hold last night at, at home, couldn't hold an 8 nothing yeah. lead.